we're here at the SNAP opening reception with artist Sam Dickey talking about her piece Off the Page. Sam, this is a very interesting piece to me. Um, can you talk to me first about the material and the process? Because it had me fooled uh, when I walked up to it. How is it? How did it fool you first? <laughs> I'm interviewing you. It fooled, no, it, it fooled me because it looked like uh, canvas, it looked like paper, and it, it isn't paper. Tell us what it is. <laughs> okay, so it is porcelain. Um, yeah, and it's kind of a new process. It's actually a prototype that I made while a residency in France uh, earlier this year, actually in November of last year. Um, but yeah, there's, it's torn porcelain stacked really, really thin, and they're, it's, it's super fragile, but I do really like that effect of it looking like canvas or paper. It's certainly referential to those things. You said torn porcelain? Yeah. So when it's in a softer state. Yeah. And do you add the texture to it yourself? Well, it's actually part of the process of rolling out with the slab roller. So you roll onto canvas. So if I touch it really minimally, it will keep that preserved um, textural mark. Um, yeah. And so and if I then if I perforate it, I can actually tear the porcelain at a particular stage, which gives it a different effect than just it being always um, tooled. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the inspiration or the theme of this piece. Um, I was kind of re-engaging back with my first degree, which was in feminist studies um, and decolonial theories. So I was back at Emily Carr doing some fourth year level courses, thinking of um, the archival record and all the things that are left off the page. You know, 20 years ago, we were talking about residential schools and only now the news has caught up in the last few years. So that is like one of a bajillion examples across the world of, of so many things that are not talked about by official record. Um, so I was thinking about those things and the things that are not included um, on any kind of page. So really it's about the spaces in between. So this piece is stacked, although there are spaces somewhat between being, you know, ununiform. And this work has gone into doing other projects where there are more specific spacings between each of the components. Um, also referencing all this left unsaid. Yeah, I'm curious about the about the stacking itself. Were you deliberate with with the placement of the porcelain pieces? How they how they look when they stacked up? Is there composition to this as well? Yeah, for sure. I mean. The nature of clay is that it kind of folds when it's really thin or it curves up a little bit. So um, I work hard to try to keep them flat as possible. Um, so some of the pieces that were a little bit too irregular kind of couldn't stack properly. So yes, it, it's always in clay, you know, you make many, many things and then you choose what is appropriate to kind of use because not everything works. So yeah. What I found interesting about this piece is I look at it and it's, it's small scale, but when I look at it, it looks monumental to me. Me. Um, is yeah? Uh, is there? Has that? Has it struck you that way? As it, in terms of how it can work dually like that? Well, I like that because it, it literally is a small prototype. But my work is actually very, very large scale. So I usually work with thousands of components at a time. And the, the piece that I'm doing right now um, with these similar components will be 20,000 um, strands in a very, very large, large um, commercial space. So. Yes, I do. The work that I do is very architecturally scale. So the fact that one thing I've made here in an individual way that's small and a prototype actually still references what it is meant to be. So yeah, this is kind of the, the seed of the idea is this piece. Yeah, but it still stands alone nicely as its own piece. I think so. I liked it. I think it's a cool piece. Um, it looks precarious, so it has a bit of a lean, which I love that, that it feels like it could fall over. Um, and I like that, the precarious nature of things, the, you know, the, yeah, everything that is temporary, everything that is possible to erase or has been erased, the, yeah, all the things that are, that are literally off the page, like, I like that idea, yeah. Yeah, it definitely, uh, it definitely has its own gravity as a piece. Thank you. I like that. Small is sometimes good. When I work so large, it's actually amazing for me to work small. Yeah. So, yeah. You don't have to think about physics as much. <laughs> well, true, but also it's good to think about pieces that can stand alone on a plinth because I do more installation work. So, it's a, it, the, you know, making this piece for this show or compiling it in a way that could be appropriate for this show was um, a good, it's good for me to, to do that kind of work as well. So. Sam, thanks so much for talking to us. And 
best of luck in the show. Thank you. So happy to be here. Thank you.